Hi, everybody. Uh, it is Wednesday, uh, September 30th, the last day of September, and I'm Kim Bergen Jackson. I'm glad to be talking to you about COVID today and any other updates I can think of. Um, we are in a good uh, place at Oak Knoll for COVID right now. We uh, have no residents who are ill with COVID and we have no staff who are ill. We are testing our staff in the health center um, and administration weekly um, per the requirements from CMS and uh, Johnson County is very close to getting under that 5% mark, which means eventually we'll be able to test once a month. Um, I think when I checked yesterday, it was 5.5. So uh, once Johnson County gets under 5%, they have to stay there for two weeks to show uh, a pattern of decline in the case counts in Johnson County. And then we'll be able to switch to monthly testing. And that will be a huge relief for everybody because Surprisingly, no one is fond of the nasopharyngeal swab up the nose. Um, so that's it. Uh, that's it for that. We are continuing to be in phase two, which means there's uh, visitation opportunities. You can have somebody visit you in your apartment. Um, there are no requirements for you to schedule that in independent living and assisted living in the health center. Those visits have to be uh, scheduled through Lindsay Reed. Um, as I said, you know, today's the last day of September, so tomorrow is October, and soon we'll be welcoming Oak Knoll East residents uh, into the video chat. So if you're already watching, uh, welcome to Oak Knoll, Oak Knoll East residents. We're very excited uh, to be opening a new location on the east side, and uh, so we welcome you. The, uh, the restrictions that we've all been following for nearly eight months uh, will be similar at Oak Knoll East. We'll mirror the policies that we have here. Uh, so there's really no restrictions anymore on visitation unless you're in phase one. Uh, and I hope that we aren't in phase one. We'll, be, we'll have to go back to phase one if we have any outbreaks of COVID uh, on campus or if we have any positive staff people who are working in the health center. So um, if you have any questions about the regulations or the phase two grid that I sent out, uh, or any questions in general, uh, just send me an email uh, or give me a call. My extension is 3014, and my email is kbergen-jackson at oaknoll.com. That's really all I have for the COVID update. Uh, we're holding steady, and I'm very proud of everybody and, and their ability to keep this virus out of Oaknoll and keep everybody healthy. What I do want to talk about today, uh, in addition to COVID, is I'd like to recognize the uh, amount of stress that people have been under for nearly eight months. We never imagined on March 8th that we would still be talking about COVID on an almost daily basis. Uh, it has really become the focus of my position at Oak Knoll is to sort of talk about COVID every day. And I think that that brings with it the risk of getting sick and the media uh, covering COVID brings with it a lot of stress and pressure and responsibility for everybody. And so yesterday during the resident flu shot clinic with the very helpful visiting nurse association, there was no social distancing. There was no, um, there were people who were not observing the regulations there were people who wanted the regulations observed and were upset about that. And so uh, I was met with some uh, unhappy customers, I'll say. Um, so let me clear something up. If you find yourself in a situation at Oak Knoll or anywhere, Hy-Vee, the gas station, Costco, um, Walgreens, if you find yourself in a situation where you are uncomfortable, I suggest that you leave the situation and f get whatever you were after in a different way. So yesterday, a number of people left the flu shot clinic so that they, they can get the shot at their doctor's office or at a pharmacy. Um, I do feel responsible for a lot of the COVID regulations. I, I bear that responsibility willingly, but we all have the responsibility of following the recommendations, um, especially if it's going to impact the community. So if you find yourself closer than six feet with somebody, separate yourself. If you 
see your friends are standing too close together, you can tell them to, to back up. Um, if you see somebody without a face mask on, you can ask them to put one on, or you can take yourself out of the situation if you don't feel like confronting somebody about those situations. But I will ask that we all try to uh, be kind with one another. Um, people were short with me yesterday, and consequently, I was short with staff yesterday because we were also testing um, staff on Tuesdays is when we're testing. And so I, I was short with people and I had to apologize for that later. And so I think if we could all remember to show some kindness and compassion, even when we're stressed, um, and just give people the benefit of the doubt, if you could, um, to quote Steve Rowe, assume positive intent with people's actions and interactions. We are all trying to do the best job that we can, and we're all trying to get through this together. I put it in my weekly notes to people. We are Oak Knoll Strong together, um, but we can't, we can't be mean to each other or short with each other on the inside because we're fighting a lot of external things. Internally, we have to stay together. So if your grocery order isn't exactly right, or if the dining room isn't exactly right, or the bank isn't coming in as often as you think it should, or a million other possible reasons for you to be uh, frustrated, Please just think about the positive intent and the, uh, the amount of work that has gone into keeping this place safe. Um, you know, I, I could go into many examples, but I'm afraid I'll leave people out who, who've worked really hard. And so it's not one person that's working, it's everybody, but it includes you as well. So um, take a deep breath, take a step back, and um, show some kindness. Uh, to the folks around here, because we're, we're all feeling the stress and the pressure, and we're going to make it through this together, and we're going to come out on the other side in 2021 with a vaccine that works. We are on the priority list for the state of Iowa as a long-term care provider to receive the vaccines first. We have signed an agreement with public health that says, I will store the vaccine for this community and we will give those vaccines as soon as they're safely available. So we're ahead of the game uh, for the vaccine once it's been developed. So um, think optimistically about the beginning of the year and, and don't hesitate to reach out to me for anything. I am 100% I am here for you and to answer your questions and, uh, and to try to try to fix whatever's wrong. And uh, so I was moving chairs yesterday to show social distancing and, and I'm very willing to do that. Uh, we're all in this together. So thank you. Thank you for all of your support and encouragement since March. Uh, it is a pleasure. It's a pleasure to talk to you every other week and um, I'll see you in two weeks. Take care.